Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to what everybody wants to see. They want to see Dave gain some yards and they want to see Dave get rid of this driver. Some say the head cover, can Dave. You can't keep the head cover though. He can keep the head cover. I mean, the iron head covers have gone so he can keep the Leeds head cover. Well, they've only gone for the moment. But we're going to be testing Dave's driver. We want to finally replace this for Dave. Dave wants to replace it. Dave's wanted a new driver for... Well, years. I'm going to say, <laughs> a long time, four years. So, Dave's current driver, as we can see here, is the vintage M1 TaylorMade. It is 12 degrees loft. We can see that in the tow settings, we've got it set for a fade. It's also got set for high launch. So, cutting edge technology, as Dave said there, when it was first bought. So, again, Dave's had these settings on the drive. He hasn't messed around with them, really. That's what he had. That was to try and get the optimum for him, and that's what was getting the optimum for him. But today, we're going to try and replace this driver. But first of all, we're going to get some numbers here. We're going to see what Dave gets out with this. We want to see what average he gets. We know we've just gone through driver testing with Dave's top five, so we know roughly what this should go, but we're going to see that then. And we're going to be talking about shaft. Obviously, shaft is very important for somebody of Dave's vintage vintage we're going to go with um 60 degree uh, 60 degree 60 gram shaft regular flex so is Dave getting to the point now with his speed would he fit the category where he needs the dreaded senior shaft Dave didn't say ladies then no we don't well we have got some ladies we could also test some ladies so Again, we need to think about what shaft's going to be optimum for Dave. But it all comes down to club head speed. Obviously, it also does come down to where Dave strikes the face. You will have seen over on the previous videos when we did Dave's top five, the mini driver actually won. The smaller head, the shorter shaft. He was a little bit more consistent. He found the middle more easy. Today, we're going to go to a standard length shaft. Oh, we're going to, oh, we're going to try and get a mini driver, but, but somebody's had it. Oh, somebody's had... Dave did have a mini driver lined up, but somebody's obviously half-inched it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not that one. I thought another one, but yes, I've got the mini driver. Um, we're going to go a Callaway Rogue Max, 12 degrees, so very similar loft. We're going to go a senior shaft. So we're going to start to see what that does for Dave. It's going to give him a different kick point. We're going to go through that on there, so it's going to potentially launch the ball higher carry it further potentially if Dave does get obviously a centered strike so we're going to get straight into it Dave's going to hit some with his driver and then we're going to talk through the setup I've gone with the color so we're going to test we're going to see which one works best right so Dave's in now he's hit a few shots he has done a nice warm up this morning not just a coffee and a Mars bar like usual no Dave's cutting back for Christmas by the sounds right in we come first shot Pretty solid strike, Dave. So 85 miles an hour club head speed. That's carried 160 and gone 210 yards. So not far off what we saw previously. We did see him get some out at 230. Very low spinning there. So let's go. We're going to hit three with each driver. This is the setup we have got to come. So again, the Rogue ST Max, 12 degrees, set as standard loft. We've also just found a great surprise. Dave was joking about a lady shaft, but we have found one for Dave. Great shot down the middle there. So, 83 miles an hour, 190 carry, 216 total, and a good spin, 2,300 there. So I will screenshot these and I will put them on screen because that is set at St. Andrews and Dave's found the fairway. But I'd be more worried if he did miss the fairway at St Andrews. The third and final one. So we see we got out there to nearly 220 yards is what we'd expect. Speed averaging, you know, around about probably 84 miles an hour. Is that very fady. So Dave's in the houses here at St Andrews. Oh, he's not. He's safe. So 84 miles an hour. Very typical of that. 185 gone 209 so we can see the average there of those three shots so we're going to bring in now we're going to bring in this rogue so we have got it set it's a 50 gram shaft it is a 5.0 as it is on here because it is a project x cypher 50 light 50 grams low to mid kick and high, mid to high torque again Low to mid kick is obviously the kick point where that's going to where the shaft is going to kick and obviously give you and present the correct loft when you come into the ball. Again, torque wise is how much it's going to potentially twist. So 
Get it set up for a senior to try and get some launch, try and be more consistent and try and get Dave a good strike. So on average, we're going to say 215 yards total with Dave's vintage M1. Shaft wise now, we are obviously two and a half inches longer. 12 degrees of loft. And again, that's a high, a high raking draw there. It's a towering shot. So straight away there guys we can see on screen you'll see we've got 86 87 miles an hour so the, the extra length on the club has got him that little bit more club edge speed we've also got over 200 yards carry so nearly 20 yards further carry than some of dave's shots with his m1 and we've got to 230 with a great spin so this could be the driver for Dave. Let's see. Can he repeat it three times though? So we want to see if he does get a bad one. What is the difference there? Does he does it drop off massively? So again, that's not the best strike there for Dave. So 87 miles an hour again. Club head speed. 174. 175 yards carry and 220 total so again already longer with a miss hit than with the previous driver okay so third and final one before we change and we're going to go even lighter with the shaft dave's not fired up with it it is a lady's shaft but we'll talk through that shortly And for anyone who's going to comment, yes, that is a robot. It is picking up the balls. The grass cutter has retired because we've got no growth at the minute. So another great shot, more importantly, for Dave there. So let's have a look at those numbers. 86 miles an hour again, nearly 200 yards carry. So 197 going 230, and that's with a little fade. So numbers-wise, Dave, you got to be happy with that? Good to that, yeah. Dave's, very, very happy. Dave is chuffed, as that's some would say. It really didn't work for me, but... Yeah, Dave tried one previously, didn't work. Today he's swinging it well. He's done a proper warm-up. We've made sure of that. But now we're going to change that. We're going to put a different shaft in. We are going to go to the lighter one. So we have got 50 grams, like I said here. The ladies' shaft. I don't know why I keep saying ladies, but it is a ladies' shaft, if anyone needs to know. We've got a 42-gram shaft here, low to mid-kick point, high torque. Again, for any twisting and off-centred hits, potentially. And this is... Uh, for the standard max so let's get it switched over so we've seen obviously with the uh senior shaft in there dave gained around about 10 to 15 yards so his better drives were going obviously quite a bit further and we was gaining probably 20 yards carry on the better hits yeah. so even dave the ones that hit well was carrying about 180 we, was, we got up to 205 so gaining 25 yards carry is obviously a massive amount especially in the winter when it's wet and it's not running as far it's a good time to have carry in the summer again it's going to carry it can take on a few more holes potentially at garforth if you are watching the course management videos which are on a wednesday which would have been yesterday so go back and have a look um but lady shafting now we're going to do the exactly the same guys we're going to hit three shots it does feel very light for dave there which is what we'd expect And that's a fantastic shot straight off there. Not the balance we'd want, but 87 miles an hour. So similar to the senior shaft. So you see there on screen now, guys, we've got 87 miles an hour, 203, 204 yards carry, 231 total. Again, and a great spin at 2,100. So as you'll see, Dave, on screen, he's not happy. But again, if it's going to do the job, guys, it doesn't ma matter. It, it, it says ladies shaft on it. It's just the weight. They're thinking about the weight here. We want to get the shaft that's going to give Dave the most amount of speed and a good kick point to be able to get that launching correct. And it was straight as well. And it was straight. There was no curvature on that. You can see that on the screen again now. As Dave lines another one up. Yeah, so a total miss hit there, but a, a nice draw. The, the club has done exactly what it says there. So carried 180, a very bad strike there, you'll see. 85 miles an hour, 210, 211, or 212 even, total. So still out there, still just as good as the M1. For a bad strike, that result is absolutely cracking for me. Ended up in the middle of the fairway and 211 yards. Yeah, so a bad strike there, it's done the job. So that's the king... We, that's the key with getting a forgiving driver there for Dave. That was already better than his M1. It's longer than his M1. He's striking it reasonable, not on that one, but it's still going further. And that's the thing, even if the miss hits are going better than the good ones. 
And that is straight up the middle again from Dave. 87 miles an hour club head speed, carried 191 gun, 224. So as, a, as an average, we're probably looking at it's exactly the same as the senior shaft. But consistency-wise with where the ball has gone, I would say we have a winner in the clubhouse. What, the senior shaft? Incorrect, Dave. <laughs> So there, guys, uh, and we're doing this for, for a reason. Dave's carry there, again, from his better ones, was 25 yards, but getting the correct shaft a little bit longer. Speed was up by probably three miles an hour. Over winter, that might be something Dave does a little bit of, a bit of speed training, we might see. We know uh, we've got the speed sticks. I do. Dave's got the speed sticks. So we might see if we can get Dave closer to the elusive 90 miles an hour. <laughs> And then we might go to a senior shaft. But for now, guys, the 43 gram shaft, it's the best shaft. It's not because it's a lady's shaft. Again, it's just the weight. The kick point helped him launch it. Good. Again, everything, even his missed strikes have gone better. And if we put a circle around those drives, they would all be very close to each other on the same line here at St. Andrews, as you can see on the screen. Very consistent. And that's what we want to see from a driver. Yeah, I mean, the, short, the, the shaft is slightly shorter, but not as short as the one I've got in the M1 because... That's a three-wheel shaft. Yeah, so it's a little bit shorter. It's around about half an inch to an inch shorter than a senior shaft, but it is longer than Dave's three-wood shaft that he does have in the M1. So if we look at these in comparison, again, we can see there's at least another inch, Dave. Yep, that's up. An inch longer than his. We're getting more speed. We're getting three miles an hour straight away. We're then getting that distance. The off-centered hits are going further. So guys, please make sure when you are thinking about getting a driver, a lot of it does come down to having the correct loft on there. So we've gone straight into a 12 degree head for Dave. It's not launched through the clouds. But the main thing, guys, is shaft. Please be aware that you can get lighter shafts. If it is, it might say on it, women's flex. As we know, this one is a ladies shaft, but it's not. If it helps you out, we saw the other week when Dave used one of the other clubs, depending if this video is on after that, we saw that it also worked out. It was a lighter shaft for him, much lighter than what he currently has in that said club, which is not a driver. And it helped him get a lot more distance and a lot more control. Yeah. And, and that's the main thing, guys. We want you to get the correct shaft. If it's lighter, we get the right kick point. Start off with the correct head. What we've tried to avoid, guys, is, is messing around, getting a 10 degree head and trying to loft it up because, oh, if I get into the summer, I might want to knock it down. No, get something that proves on track, man, that the numbers are good for you. It's the most consistent and you should start to reduce your handicap, which we're hoping this will help Dave do in the new season. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into what you can do with a driver, what you can change, what shafts are out there and that should be available to you. And we'll see you again next week. See you soon.